Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you new, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited because I finally got my palettes that I ordered from Ace Beauty and this is their Paradise, Paradise, Paradise collection. I have all four palettes and I got them two days ago. So it took them a while to arrive in Sweden and it <laughs> the shipping was very expensive and taxes were very expensive but I'm glad that they are here. And I mean, guys, they are around $34, $35 each and they are expensive. This is a e indie brand and I haven't tried anything from them before, but I saw these on Instagram and I just fell in love. This is how the palettes, palettes look like. They have a big, nice mirror in here. And this is one of the palettes. This is Blossom Passion that I'm going to use today in this video. Actually, I've seen people doing all four makeup looks, uh, makeup looks with all four palettes in one video, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do like I always do. I'm going to split the video and I'm going to make one makeup look each. So every palette is going to get a video and I'm going to do like that. If you, you want to see me using two palettes or all four of them in one makeup look, then let me know down below. I will do that. But I think maybe you got one palette or two palettes or thinking about buying one of these. So I want you to be able to pick what video you want to see. So these are coming up, but this is the first palette that I'm going to use. And it's a beautiful palette. It's very thin, but I really, really like it. It closes very ni nice. It has like a magnet. It's cardboard packaging. I love the packaging. It's very beautiful. It's sleek. I think it's nice to travel with also. I did use this yesterday. I went to my sister yesterday and I used this palette to create a makeup look and I used this all over my eyelid, a couple of these eyesh eyeshadows. Looked beautiful. But today I'm going to create a red makeup look or something pinkish red because I really like this red shade here. I have to say they are very pigmented. And I've seen mixed reviews about this palette, but so far I'm really happy with this palette. I'm not going to do swatches. If you want to see that, please let me know. But I'm just going to create a makeup look. So if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. So guys, I just want to say that I don't use any filters in my videos. This is me. How I look. And uh, I just want you to see the real thing. So today I'm going to use uh, this shade all over my eyelid. And I think this shade looks so, so beautiful. And I want to use it all over my eyelid. And they are a little bit powdery. So I don't have my face makeup. I usually always have my foundation and everything done. But I've seen different makeup looks. A lot of them. I think I saw all the videos about is all about these palettes. And uh, many people think they say there is a little bit of fallout, so I'm not going to use, and they're very pigmented, so I'm not going to have any foundation. So we'll see how this is going to look. I will put this gardenia or gardenia, I don't know how to pronounce this shade, all over my eyelid and in my crease. I did set my eyeshadow primer, I used this Wet n Wild, and I did set it with my Huda Beauty baking powder. So then I'm going to go take another shade. I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to take this Ofra 21 and I'm going to go into this shade. This is a beautiful shade that I used yesterday also. I'm gonna make a look. And I'm going to blend this into my crease and I'm going to blend it a little bit above my crease because I do have hooded eyes and I don't have a, a lot of space to work with. I haven't tried the other three palettes. I just tried this one yesterday because I couldn't wait. But see, this blend nice. This is my uh, veins, so this is not this is not the palette. This is my veins showing. I actually forgot to cover this with something more pigmented. But we're going to make this work. So I'm going to use the same brush. And I'm actually going to t go to this desire shade, I think it's called. And we are going to take this into the crease. I'm not going to blend it too high up. I'm going to work it in my crease. 
back and forward as you see. They blend very nice together. This looks amazing. We're going to blend everything. I'm actually going to take the brush that we used with the first shade and I'm going to, without any color or any eyeshadow, I'm going to blend the edges a little bit. See how nice that looks? This is me in this video stepping out from my comfort zone because I'm scared of using pinks and red eyeshadows on my eyelids. I never use that. Yes, a little bit of pink, but this pink, I don't remember using this kind of pink on my eyes. Then I'm going to take this beautiful red shade and work it in the outer V and here. I'm just going to press it here and then we're going to blend it. So I'm blending everything with a clean blending brush. Let's go back into that red and build it up a little bit more here on the edges. I'm going to go into this shade with the same brush and dip it up a little bit down here on the edges. Looks like they're blending very nice, but I very I'm very careful because I don't want to take too much uh, or the eyeshadow because they are very pigmented. So I want to build it up as much as I would like it to. That's easier than try to fix it later. And then I'm going to take that brush and blend a little bit in the crease. And with a clean brush, I'm going to blend my crease more right now it looks crazy but i promise it's going to look very very nice at the end then i though my eyes are not the same so it's going to look a little bit different then i'm going to take a concealer and clean a little bit in the middle Oh no, look what I did. I'm almost finished with this concealer. So I take, took my concealer brush and I pressed it in and I destroyed my favorite brush. So we need to get rid of this. Okay, I think I'm going to use this from MAC, Pro Long Wear Concealer. Use that one instead. Use this Body Shop eyeshadow brush and um, cut my crease. I did take it a little bit higher than I normally would because I do have very hooded eyes. And I want to try a new technique. I'm going to go into this shade, Orchi, I think it's called, this one. It's a very nice shade. And I didn't wet the brush. So I'm going to use my Zoeva 232 and use this red again to blend a little bit. The edges. I'm 
going to use a smaller brush and make use that more of that black shade just to deep up the corners a little bit. Then I'm gonna, going to use my fingers to apply this shade in the center. Just a little bit. And then clean with a clean finger I'm going to blend the edges a little bit. And then with a clean blending brush, I'm going to actually take more of this first shade and blend along the top here. And then use more of this shade here to blend a little bit more. I'm going to clean everything. in the fallout there is a little bit of fallout so that's good that I'm doing my uh, shadow first so I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to finish the makeup look so guys I'm back my face makeup is done let's go back to this palette beautiful palette and finish the makeup look so I'm going to take um, tap this kind of brush and I'm going to go into the hmm, I want to use I actually want to use this love shade I haven't used this one and then I'm going to use another brush a little bit angled brush and i'm going to go into this shade and just blend everything down here take a flat brush and use uh, this red and uh, this one and take it very close to my waterline, low lash line, I'm going to take this black on the same brush just a little bit and bring it just a third part of the low lash line. So I'm going to take this dark shade, it's not dark black it looks like black but it's like dark purple i'm going to take this to next to my lash line like because i want to do use eyelashes and i don't have translucent eye glue just blue eye glue eyelash glue i just have black so i want it to look natural So guys, this is the final look. Now, fortunately, I couldn't find my eyelash glue anywhere. I, was, I looked everywhere, I couldn't find it. So I had to build up a little bit of the volume on my eyelashes and I did use uh, this mascara for Essence. And I kind of think it looks okay. It would look much better if I had eyelashes on, but I don't. I, I really, really like how this makeup look turned out. This palette. This palette is gorgeous. I love this palette. I think it looks nice. I think it looks amazing. I'm very happy with the results. And um, for my lips, I use uh, this combo. This is liquid katsu from um, Wet n Wild. <laughs> I forgot the name. This is Nudist Peach. And I also top it with Moon Child Colourpop lip gloss. And yeah, that was everything. 
If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I put three new videos every week, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and be part of Didi family. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.